Oh, I'm so nervous. Hello? They hung up on me. God dang it, it's raining. Today, I'm gonna to show you some tourist traps in Las Vegas. This city is one of the most popular tourist destinations, so of course, it's gonna come along with some things that you have to watch out for. I may be putting myself in some uncomfortable situations, all in the middle of this rain. Now the first one is the monks. Now the monks aren't exactly new. They are known to be in other large cities. And what they try to do is that they'll give you like a bracelet or something, and they'll want a donation back that it is supposed to go to a temple. But I have heard that they try to ask for an insane amount. But I'm gonna try to see if I can get approached by one, see how much money they try to ask from me, and see where this temple is located. Donation? Um, I don't know. No, it, it's okay. I, I appreciate it. Where is this for? Is this for a temple? Where is the temple? Where is the temple though? Uh, $10. Uh, $10? Uh, no, it's okay. I, I, no, I know. I'm sorry. So that was a bit interesting, honestly, because that, that was my first time ever talking to one of them. But yeah, at first he kind of gave me like this little gold little card, and then he proceeded to go ahead and put the bracelet on me. I asked him how much and he was all like I really heard from him say was like donation. So when I reached for my purse, <laughs> I this this is what he could see. He could see like my 20s and my 10s and he was trying to get uh, at first I think he was trying to get 20 out of me and then he want he proceeded to try to get 10 and I was like, "Oh no, no, it's okay." And then he pulled out his little book and then on there it said like different people's names and it said $20, $40 and I was like, there's no way people are paying $20, $40 for that bracelet right there. And again, I know that this is supposedly going to a temple and I was trying to see if I can get like at least cross streets or something, but nothing. Like I, he didn't even say if it was in Chinatown, like nothing like that. But yeah, like the more I kept asking him, really all he said was $10, $10 and then he tried to like do change with me so yeah i didn't really get much information out of him <laughs> but now you know they're probably gonna try to get ten dollars more worst case scenario i guess maybe even five it started uh, raining a little bit hence the uh, the new polka dots on my shirt so this next tourist trap is something that people consider a scam but i always wonder is it really Usually you'll just be walking around and you'll get approached by someone, especially if you're in a couple, and they'll typically ask you how long you're gonna be in town for. Reason being, they're gonna try to get you a timeshare. Some of them are gonna try to lure you in with either free show tickets, discounted helicopters, coupons, and try to get you to agree to a timeshare sales presentation. And yes, you're gonna be in that meeting for hours and be pressured to try to buy this said timeshare. But I kinda wanna talk to these people myself and see what they say. Where are you from, CD Point? We're in California. Uh, like in three days. What hotel are you staying at? Uh, right now we're at Mirage. Do you guys want to see a show? Do you want to do an attraction to see Las Vegas? Do you want to do some experience fine dining? Yeah. Have you seen the Vegas show before or anything? Uh -huh. or? Uh, Beatles Love. If you wanted to, you could do something like the helicopter ride mm -hmm. over Las Vegas. It's a lot to get into. So um, I'll give you the two helicopters. Can we go talk about it real quick? Oh my god, that was a, that was a little intense. I told you, because it was me and Tim, my cameraman, they saw us, they were like, oh, couple let's bring them in so what exactly were you wanting to do for this pretty lady that you didn't want to have to pay for sir what killed me though is that how nice they were so it was i felt like a little bad like breaking their heart and you literally will walk in you'll oh, see okay. other multiple families checking in and as soon as you're done they hand you the vouchers for the helicopter ride but at least here they were very upfront about it of course they did you know try to offer as a show ticket as a dinner the helicopters i'm kind of confused about because he said between the two of us it was supposed to be 405 dollars for these helicopters when really it would have been maybe like 300 350 so they definitely brought up the price and see they were trying to charge us 80 dollars for that helicopter trip for the two of us the helicopter ride is expensive it's about 200 dollars plus 25 for your fuel, so you're already at 450. The moment though that I did say, okay, we gotta go, is when they started asking for our California IDs. Just these nice. your IDs? Uh, that's when I was like, oh no, we don't actually have California IDs. Let's, let's go, let's go. We're gonna. We're gonna. <laughs> and they did say it was gonna be a two hour presentation, which I think two hours is actually the minimum. You can definitely be there a lot longer, like even up to five hours or maybe even more. I can see how they trap you, you know? They just kept asking question after question. No, these people are trained to try to get you in there. Dude, 
They're all here right now. <laughs> Next, we have some street performers. They come in so many different ways. I mean, you're gonna get anything from Disney characters, movie characters, the girl cops, the cowboys, the showgirls, and some that aren't very PG. And ones that are whistling the whole day. Now, I'm not telling you not to take a picture with them, but I am telling you that make sure you ask how much it's gonna cost you. That way you can negotiate before you take the actual picture. So I'm just telling you all of this because I know that we all work really hard for our money and I just want us to all be smart about how we spend it. Which is why the sponsor of this video is Rocket Money. Great segue, huh? If you guys saw my video a few months ago called How Much I Spend in a Month, I learned very quickly that I spend way too much and I need to get this under control. So that's why I'm using Rocket Money to help me, which is an all-in-one personal finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. It's been helping me lower my bills because Rocket Money can help negotiate my bills for services such as phone, cable, and even internet bills. It's as easy as uploading a photo and tapping a button. And it's also been helping me set a budget so I can monitor my spending by category. And it'll even send me a notification if I ever exceed them. That way I can visualize my spend to earn ratio by month, by quarter, or by year. It can also help you cancel unwanted subscriptions, monitor your credit score, and set up a smart savings account. So if you want to be smarter with your money, make sure you download Rocket Money and unlock way more features with premium. Just go to rocketmoney.com slash normajelly or click the link in my description. So next, this is another kind of street performer, and that's the Chippendales, or basically known as the really buff guys that they'll come up to you, try to give you a beaded necklace, to try to pull you in and take a picture with them. Sometimes they'll pick you up, or they'll put you into some very compromising positions, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Same thing as from the other street performers, uh, totally up to you if you do want to take that picture, but just so you are informed, that picture is going to cost you about like $30, I believe, just for one, and then two for 40 I literally went up to the Chippendales myself and asked, so that's why I know. Oh, can I have one? Thank you. <laughs> can I ask you a question? What services do they provide? I don't know what to say. I asked him, what, what services is this? And he's like, this is... This, this is illegal, technically. So I don't know, I'm like so confused. So this next one is not rated PG. <laughs> I think everybody just calls them the card flappers, but they're basically people that pass out these little cards with provocative pictures of women on them. So if you do have children with you, I would say probably distance yourself from them or even carry your kids because you are gonna find a lot of these cards on the floor. And I know if I was a mom, I wouldn't want my kids seeing that. I'm not 100% sure what services these ladies provide. I can kind of imagine, but I kind of want to call this phone number on my own and see what they say. Oh, I'm so nervous. Star 67 is the one that blocks your number, right? Oh, this is so weird. What do I even ask? Hello? They hung up on me. So they hung up on me right away and I don't know why. I don't know if it was because I called like from, you know, star 67 or maybe because I'm a girl. So that one didn't work. We're gonna, these all have like different phone numbers. So we're gonna try a different one. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm actually gonna have Tim, my cameraman, call for me because again, I don't know if it was because I was a girl and that's why, but. <laughs> I just wanted to know about how much uh, the prices are. Um, so a hundred dollars per girl, and it gets the party started. And then if you want to keep them for longer, then you would just have to tip. Okay, how much is a tip expected to be about? That would need to be discussed between you and the entertainer. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. okay bye. bye. Most nerve-wracking phone call. Yeah, I'm sweating. I'm s <laughs> My wife is watching. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was a bit interesting. Yeah, so we ended up using like the Google app thing in order to like change our phone number. You know, that way his phone number doesn't get compromised. But that was weird. Like even the way they picked up the phone call <laughs> was like very, like she had a voice. Like like the service starts from the moment you call them. <laughs> yeah, it, it was pretty straightforward. I would call it a tourist trap though. So we are now officially in Tourist Trap Alley. We are in front of the Bellagio Fountains, which I'm really sad about because 
Before, like, this used to be, like, an area that was, you know, like, you thought of it, it was, like, romantic, you could bring your family, but it, it is full of, like, different vendors. Uh, they do have different street performers. Again, I'm not saying don't take pictures with them and all that, but just letting you know what you'd be getting into. There's a lot going on here. Like, they do have people just with coolers selling either water, selling alcohol. How much is the beer? $5. $5. Any beer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Five dollars, okay. I mean, I don't know how legal it is to be selling alcohol right in the street like that out of a cooler, but I mean, it's five dollars. It's a dollar more than you could have gotten at Walgreens. And it'll be bigger at Walgreens. How much are these? Fifteen dollars? And how much are those? Twenty dollars. Twenty? Okay. All right. How much? Ten dollars. Yeah, with those people sometimes like selling the balloons, I feel like I'm at Disneyland or something like that. She said it was like 15 for the balloons, like 20 for these other things, 10 for the tear. I don't know. It was definitely aimed at the kids. They got something for everyone. I don't know how those guys do it. You think he's actually playing the harp? I don't know. So now we're going to go ahead and get a little snack. Hola. ¿Ya están listos? Sí, ¿cuánto le damos? Five bucks. Gracias. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Oh shit. Yeah, it's obviously not allowed because they they said something about like, oh, here comes the cops, so they had to go hide. Okay, well, at least we got one. I've never tried one of these before, but almost pretty much like whenever I'm out here, I smell them. And not gonna lie, they do smell good. I mean, it looks like they have, besides the hot dog, it looks like onions, jalapenos, peppers. Okay. Oh my God. It's actually not bad. I mean, the hot dog itself is pretty juicy. You have like a lot going on with all the ingredients in there. Definitely get a crunch out of it. Ooh, the jalapeno got, ooh, my Lord. The jalapeno got me, whoa. I don't hate it. Oh no. I got mustard on my shirt. Well, crap. So another one that I wanted to tell you guys about is these dancing guys. So usually you'll see them here over by the Bellagio or you'll also notice them by the Planet Hollywood sometimes. But what they'll usually do uh, is that they'll gather a crowd, they'll tell you to like scoot in closer and then they'll kind of give you like a little bit of a teaser, you know, they'll dance around, they'll do certain tricks, a few jumps. And then they start grabbing people randomly from the crowd and they just bring them in and then they put them on a straight line and then they say that they're gonna do a jump over them. And then once they have everybody gathered, they basically will start asking for donations either from the people they're gonna jump over or from the crowd directly. I'm not telling you guys not to watch them. I am just letting you know that I have seen this show myself. I felt like you were there for a very long time before they actually did the jump. So you just have to know that you know you're gonna you're gonna spend some time there waiting for them to do this trick. So I just wanna let you guys know up front in case you're in a hurry, if you have somewhere to be, anything like that. If you do choose to stand there, you're, it's gonna be a while. Let's just put it this way. We started watching them about 8.05. It's already 8.23 and they haven't even done the trick yet. So it's probably gonna be a while longer. Yeah, see, 8.26, took them about 20 minutes to do it, so. How much do you guys charge for this? It's just $20 for both. $20? Yeah. Okay, and do you guys text it or something? All right, so with the spinny phone guys, um, they told me 20 bucks, but I, I guess I was able to somehow negotiate it to 15. So, so I guess you can negotiate that too. But yeah, once they do the spinny thing, he said then they'll go ahead and airdrop it down to you. So it looks like for the swing right here, it looks like it's $10. Um, if you make it to 60 seconds, you get your $10 back. If you make it to 90 seconds, you get $50. But if you make it to 100 seconds, then you win the full 100. I don't know, guys, it looks tricky. So these aren't just here in the Las Vegas Strip. They're also located over on Fremont Street and I feel like there's a lot more over there. So just be prepared. So if you choose to do any of these, just know you're gonna spend some cash. So as always guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends and comment below. Tell me what are some other tourist traps you know about. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time. This city is one of the most popular tourist destinations. <laughs> or even coupons and, shit, hold on. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. Um, I'm sure you asked before you take... Oh my god. What? The birds. <laughs> oh my lord. There's a lot of birds.
part of the act. They're hired by, um, <laughs> by, <laughs> by the Ling Promenade. A lot of the times, you know, people will get these cars and then they just leave them on the floor. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Star 67 is the one that blocks your number, right? Star 69. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you not to watch these guys, but I am letting you know I've seen them. Give it away, you're giving us 